Today we talk about fear of dying. Hello and welcome to TGI Monday. It's great to see you again. Thanks for watching. This week, before we get into the question, I'd like just a really quick idea off the top of your heads what you think the best thing about heaven will be. Oh gosh, uh, seeing people again. I'm really looking forward to seeing my mum again. Okay, mm. nice one. Me, um, I, I go with that one actually, seeing people again and uh, understanding some of the mysteries of science that we haven't got a clue about now. Okay. Um, renewed heaven and a renewed earth. Um, is it heaven, is it earth that we live on that's renewed? Oh yeah, like those, uh, is it JWs with the magazines and the lovely pictures on them? Oh no. No, it's <laughs> like, you know. Lions yeah. lying yeah, with yeah. lambs. Yeah. It's like, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, revelation. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, oh. the Bible, that thing. That old uh, book. That thing. That yeah. I've been reading yeah. the wrong yeah. stuff all these years. <laughs> Stop dodging the question. Quick, quick thought off <laughs> the top of your head, Mary, isn't, oh, theological yeah, dilemma. Heaven, it is actually. But that is yeah. one, I think. But, so, yeah. Yeah. Along, that with, is that, a along with that new manner. earth, I think it's going to be a lot simpler way of life. A lot gentler, a lot slower yeah. pace. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Life, life pace of eternity. But not dull, mm. though. I don't think dull. Oh, I hope not. No, I think I think some of the in that is that basically <laughs> we're always on the... Now we're always on the kind of uh, treadmill of a sense of, of getting the most out of, of what we can of this life, that consumption of life, yeah, right? There yeah, there is that. And I think that if you're in eternity, there's no temptation to consume, so we can just yeah. enjoy. And I think maybe that's the thing, is that, um, uh, and as you get older, time moves quicker. So I think we'll have eternity to enjoy each other and enjoy being with God. Not being in a rush would be lovely. Hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, in a rush or always late. But I also think it's going to mean that actually all the Christian qualities that are kingdom values are what everybody's going to be doing. So everybody is going to be loving one nice. another. Oh my goodness, how amazing and as well, would that be? And as well, I've got a big list, right, of all the questions I want to ask God. Like, for example, why haven't you sorted out my housing issue as I'm going <laughs> oh. down to Bristol Diocese? That's at the top of the list now. Is it a written list? Oh, ah, no, no, not quite. And God's right. like, oh, oh, here it comes. Sort it out. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping you're going to get that answered by an archdeacon and not straight from uh, the pearly gates. Is that not you the best. same thing? Are archdeacons <laughs> not on the gates? Are they not gates? I hope not. I'll, I hope not. I'll never Simon. get in. Uh, any ideas before we move no, on I, to today's that, question? That's what I said, the, uh, the, the, the slower pace. The slower pace. Mm. I like that, I like that. The reason I ask that is because today's question has come in uh, via the website from Hazel. So Hazel, thank you very much for that question. Uh, and the question is, always a good one, I'm really frightened to die. Is this a normal Christian reaction? I'm really frightened to die. Is this a normal Christian reaction? Now I've got my thoughts on this, but who would like to chip in first? Well, it's really, um, it is really normal to be a human, to be afraid of dying. Um, and, I, and Christians are humans, so actually everything that is human is also what Christians experience. So Hazel definitely isn't the only Christian to feel like that. Okay. Um, I'm sure we're gonna get into why death should be less frightening because ever, Jesus came to, to do away with all of those things about death that, are, that make us afraid. Um, but my first reflex in, in answering Hazel is that well, nothing good ever came from fear. Um, and so fear of anything is, is, is something to try and, try and work through. So if we didn't fear dying, would we be terrible at crossing the road? We just waltz out into traffic. Is it a, you know, a healthy Possibly. fear of dive, think, dying keeps us alive? I think it, it depends on what we mean by fear okay. uh, in this instance. Mm. So um, to be afraid of dying is not just mm. to give adequate uh, notice to life, I think. It's mm. also to have something that, that, that in some way detracts from life. If you're so scared of death that you're... Um, you can't do anything, that you, you are um, kept 
shift in, in, in ways of doing things that stop you from taking helpful risks, then actually that's not, that's not good. But equally, to just take random uh, <laughs> nonsense risks uh, is, is not good. I mean, like me just deciding I'm going to fly a plane when I have no idea about it. If I manage to get into the air, um, I should be afraid of that. Um, but, but I think that actually it is natural to be afraid of things we don't know for yeah. certain. You know, the opposite of faith isn't certainty, it's doubt. Um, because, um, sorry, that was the, is that the op opposite way around? The it's opposite the of around. faith isn't doubt, it's certainty. certainty. And we cannot be 100% certain uh, of what happens when we die. We have a sure and certain hope. Well, I think, yeah, I think the other thing to think about as well, as I was watching this film, Death Becomes Her from the 90s the other day, Love it. where uh, they take this portion so they'll live forever. And there's, a, there's a, a great tradition of that in, like with the wandering Jew and stories like that, where eternal life is actually a curse. So some of the vampire films are like that, you yeah. know, like, uh, and I think what we're talking about there is invulnerability, not eternal life. And I think it's our vulnerability, in other words, the ability for us to be hurt, that allows us to love each other, that allows us to form relationships, and allows us to live a more fulfilled life. And when they took away their vulnerability in the film, their lives fell apart. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a bit of that. And I think the key thing with it is death is the greatest change that we'll ever experience. And I think it's human to fear change. Yeah, of course. And I think that's the key thing, is that it, it's human to, to go, to fear something that we, is unknown. Mm -hmm. And I think the more uh, we experience the world, um, the less frightened we become of it. And I think as well that death is more frightening today because it's a bit like what sex was in the 50s. Nobody it's, talk about nobody it. Nobody talks about it. <laughs> And I think because it isn't discussed, because it isn't uh, encountered uh, by many mm. people in society, there's a lot of fear of it, maybe less than there was before. Actually, I, think... I, I work in uh, Kemp Hospice mm. in Kidderminster. Uh, Kemp, hello, you do a great job. Mm. Uh, and one of the patients really struck me with her candor the other day. Um, she said to me, Paul, I'm not scared of dying. I'm scared of pain. Yeah. yeah, that's a different That's world. the reflex you were talking about, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And it reminded me of the, the Woody Allen's quote, you know, uh, uh, I'm not afraid of dying, I just don't want to be there when it happens. <laughs> um, or there's a Bob Hope one I love, which is, uh, I want to die peacefully in my sleep, like my father, not like his passengers in the back of the bus as he drove <laughs> the bus, <laughs> screaming. Yeah. Um, so uh, I, uh, it's interesting, Hazel's question, because a Christian response, and then I thought to Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, he was sweating blood. Mm -hmm. He was really afraid. afraid. Mm -hmm. So it is, I think, a Christian response. But ahead of that, once he was on the cross, he turned to the person beside him, and one of his last words were to someone else going through the same agony, saying, truly, I tell you. And whenever Jesus says truly, it's like underline. Truly, I tell you, this day you will be with me in paradise. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was... A yeah. really comforting thing, even in that moment facing Absolutely. death. And hence I asked you about paradise. Mm. But we're out of time, I'm afraid. Hazel, thank you so much for the question. I hope we've touched on some of the things which will be a little bit helpful. Look forward to catching you next time. Because we've made it alien mm -hmm. and frightening, mm. it is more scary. And that plays always into the hands of those who have power as well. Is if you can if you can make people frightened of it, you can create that situation you have in the film of where people want to be forever young, which is impossible. So they can sell you face cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but it didn't work. No, that, no, it's, it's, it's working beautifully. Well. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please do like, subscribe, share. Tweet. Oh, come Tweet. on. <laughs>